Hey, what's going on, everybody? Rob here with The Curated Culture. I just came back in from getting my mail, daily routine, any day that I get to stay home at least, and I am so super pumped to be recording this video because a day that I've been waiting on for seemingly forever is finally here. I ordered the new Pixel 6 Pro way back in November. Like the day you could order them, I ordered myself one, right? And I could not wait. And I'm very particular about the phones that I've purchased. Like I, I know it has to be uniquely me. It's gotta be a phone that I chose. So naturally, I chose to go with the kind of sunny Pixel 6 Pro. I always go with the oddball colors. It's a thing that I like to do. Be that as it may, my first initial order, for whatever reason, got canceled, right? Shut down completely. No real explanation outside of, hey, there was a problem with the payment method. I went back through the same day, resubmitted another order, and used the same payment method, and it went through. The problem this time, though, was my shipping estimate had changed from the end of November to like the middle of January. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? Why is it taking so long? I was calm, patient. I decided to exercise patience and just wait for the phone. It, it was not like I'm using an iPhone 12 Pro now, uh, 12 Pro Max, excuse me. And it's not like that phone is dying or anything like that, but I am I am very much an Android guy. I am very much Team Pixel specifically, and, and I really wanted to get my hands on a new phone at launch, which unfortunately I couldn't do. Anyway, I got an update uh, right before I left for Chicago to go to C2E2 Comic Con that my phone would be uh, shipped and delivered like the day that I left. So that was kind of crazy and bonkers uh, because we in Michigan, we had gotten like this crazy uh, warm and cold front that caused super crazy high winds, uh, strong gusts. So I was just worried that my phone was just gonna get whipped somewhere across the neighborhood. That never happened though, because there was a mishap at FedEx and for whatever reason, uh, the shipment was delayed uh, another like four days. Ah! But it's finally here. So I figure um, I would A, bore you guys with that super long story, but B, go ahead and unbox that bad devil uh, right here, right now, before I start setting it up and everything. Um, before we get started on that though, a little bit of business to take care of. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel so that you don't miss any of my uploads. Yes, they come through sparingly, blah, blah, blah. But still subscribe. That way you do not miss any of the uploads uh, hitting the channel. And if you haven't already done so, turn on that little bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload. Big major shout out to the Aviators brand. I'm always rocking some of their gear in some of my videos. Very dope clothing. Head over to theaviatorsbrand.com. Check out the selection. Use the promo code Curated Culture when you check out. Get yourself a nice little discount on some super sweet threads. There's something there for everybody. Men, women, children, maybe. Uh, hoodies, sweatsuits, jackets, backpacks, you name it. They got a phenomenal selection of super dope gear, super dope clothes. As you can see, I'm always, always dripped out. Uh, so make sure you head on over to there as well. So those three things, subscribe, bell icon, theaviatorsbrand.com, head on over to check out the selection. And now we got some unboxing to do. So I've seen uh, a ton of reviews and previews and all that on this phone. And there's not very much to it really um the box itself is is very super thin there's no charging brick in here uh at least there weren't in any of the reviews that i've seen like apple google and team pixel has gone to just these little individual pull tabs on the side here there's no um individual piece of plastic wrap there which is cool you know moving towards greener uh packaging which i like 
It also gets me into my phone even faster. A quick note about the box, and I'm not sure if, um, if it's like this with all of the pixels, but you can kind of see on the sides there, see the top, see the front. The side is actually that kind of sunny color, which uh, denotes, of course, the uh, color of the device itself, which I'm, I'm a fan of. I really dig that. Slow unveiling. Ooh. Wow, this is, uh, this is actually really cool. I like this. It's got, um, I don't want to say like pinkish, but it's definitely got some of those like, tannish yeah i guess i will say kind of pinkish hues to it you can't really see it doesn't translate well on camera but it it looks really good i i actually really dig the look of the phone of course on the back there you got that new camera hump uh that has google's new camera system on there 48 megapixel main you got that new camera system on the back there google g logo this is uh this is a very well made phone just from the feel of it like i can i can feel that google wanted to make this like a premium device and it, it feels such it kind of reminds me of uh honestly it kind of reminds me of some of the galaxy devices in terms of how much it weighs um how it looks the metal bands along the side it looks pretty cool now I will say this much, I've, I've heard a lot of reviewers and journalists say that this phone was massive and it's not the smallest phone in the world, but I mean, I've been using an iPhone 12 Pro Max for the past year and I, I don't really know if this phone is like that much bigger than the 12 Pro Max. Uh, up front here, you got a massive, massive display. I believe this one is 6.8 inches and uh, is one of Google's best and brightest displays on a device so far. As you can see, it is really nice, very bright. It reminds me of, uh, again, a, a Samsung device, especially with that hole punch camera up front, which I love. I actually like the hole punch way more than I thought and definitely more than the notch that you get on, you know, the something like the Pixel 4, for example. Um, and then especially with the iPhone, that, that notch is is, is there and it, it's kind of bothersome. I can already tell there is a considerable upgrade in terms of screen quality. Uh, the blacks on the display are really, really deep, dark, dark black. So it uh, looks nice. I'm concerned about battery life. I've heard a couple of people say battery life isn't the greatest on this, but you know, of course, I'm going to find out whether or not it is or isn't. Um, rounding out the features, you got uh, USB-C charging on the bottom of the device there, SIM slot on the left-hand side of the device, and then on the right-hand side, of course, your power and volume rocker. There is an in-display fingerprint reader, but again, we'll save that for the official review. That is the phone in and of itself. Inside of the box, again, not really expecting much fireworks here. You got a USB-C to USB-C charging cable on the inside. This guy here is most likely going to be used for transferring data between devices, which I'll definitely need moving from an iPhone. Safety and warranty information here and a SIM pick, and that is it. Minimal, minimal packaging. Um, honestly, I mean, I, I get why they include this sort of wrapping in the box here, but I don't even really think it's necessary if you tuck your packaging in there. Uh, good enough shouldn't move out so that's it man not very much in the packaging again no power brick which isn't a surprise because every phone manufacturer seems to be moving that way again the phone itself is really nice really gorgeous i like the i like the color um i i am one who always goes for the eyeball colors and i can tell right now that i'm really gonna like this i'm definitely gonna have to get a case though because this guy smudges and fingerprints like nobody's business and i am also massively concerned about the durability of this camera hump on the back so a case is necessary so that's it that's a really brief look at the new Pixel 6 Pro from Google, of course. I, myself, am going to uh, start the process of transitioning all my data from iPhone into this guy. 
throw my SIM card into it, and then start the review process. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so very much for checking out this video. If you liked it, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Are you still team iPhone? Are you team Pixel? Did you switch from one to the other? Let me know what you did and what your thoughts are in the comments down below. As usual, make sure you subscribe to this channel. That way you don't miss any videos just like this one. And you definitely don't want to miss my thoughts, my full thoughts on the Pixel 6 Pro. We got that and so much more coming your way. Thank you guys so very much for checking this out. I am Rob, a.k.a. Robbie Diesel. You can catch me virtually everywhere on the tweets, on the Instagrams, on the Snapchats via at Robbie Diesel. So make sure you shoot me a follow over there as well. Check out the website, thecuratedculture.com. Check out the podcast. Also, same name, The Curated Culture, available on every podcast platform that you could possibly use. In the meanwhile, thank you guys for checking this out. I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace.